Hi, it's Nell, and today I'm going to be showing you a couple ways to make your arrowhead more bushy, especially if it's flopping over like this one. So stick around for that. I upload videos on a regular basis here at YouTube all about gardening, both indoors and out on a regular basis, and I have plenty in the archives for you to go peruse. So I would love to have you subscribe and come back for more. So you buy your beautiful little arrowhead plant in a four inch pot and it's nice and compact and cute. And then it grows and they grow like crazy. They're very fast, very vigorous growers. And then it does this. So this happens because this plant does grow so fast and it also has very soft stems and it has a vining habit anyway. It's not really an upright plant. Some of the newer varieties have been bred to be a little bit more compact, but it is actually a vine in nature. It crawls along the ground with these very strong roots it puts out off its stems and then it also climbs up plants. So it is its nature to do that. But if you don't want it to be quite so floppy, I have a couple of uh, tips here for you because mine sits in this tall pot and it sits in the corner, but I just want to get it a little bit more upright. And the reason that the ribbon is on here is the front that I want to leave some trails. So that's what's going on with that. And I just did a propagation video and post on this plant. So you can check that out. It propagates so easy. The link will be down below. Also, I've done a care video on this and a repotting video. So I got you covered because I repotted this last year from a six inch pot into an eight inch pot and it's grown like crazy. So what I'm doing first is I'm just cutting out a few of the yellow leaves. This plant grows so densely, the bottom leaves tend to get yellow as you can see how much there is. So what I'm gonna try is actually for exterior plants. Now you can train this plant on a moss pole or trellis or something like that, or you can just let it hang over in a hanging basket. But I'm gonna try these, which are actually for perennial plants that flop like delphiniums and dahlias, or if you have some of the determinate tomatoes, the ones that stay smaller, not the indeterminate, you can just put this on the plant and it stakes it up. So. I'm gonna see how this idea works here. Okay, so I, I've got this one in here because I haven't ever done this before, so I just wanted to make sure it was going to work. So I'm doing it basically on the two sides into the back that go in the corner, because as I said, I don't mind the, the uh, front to be trailing. So th this is just an idea for you too. I got these on Amazon. Oh, like I get a lot of things. I will put these in my Amazon shop. I will also put the link in the post for you in case you're interested in them. And there, that just kind of holds it up, up a little bit better. And I was gonna do a little tip pruning first, but I decided to get these in first to see how it looked. And now I'm gonna do tip pruning because this is another way to keep your arrowhead nice and bushy. So now I'm going to go through and do some tip pruning and tip pruning is another way to keep this plant bushy and that's exactly what you're doing is you're just pruning off the tips to encourage it not to get so floppy and uh, just grow a little bit denser. These arrowheads have very soft stems and so they do tend to flop as they as they grow. So if you tip prune two or three times a year in the warmer growing season, you should be able to keep your plant under control if you, if that's what you want. You know, if you want it to hang and go all over the place, that's fine. So see here, I'm just taking off these two tip pieces of growth and I'm just gonna cut, cut like that. And the plant is so bushy, you really aren't going to see these at all. So I went around and I tipped the major, all the big fat stems all the way around three, three quarters round. As I said, I'm leaving this in the front so it can trail out. We'll see how it goes. And probably in a couple months, I will have to tip prune it a little bit as it's growing. But I like this a lot better because it is much more contained. The plant can still grow up through here and then I can manage it as it grows. 
Okay, so this is ready to go back in the corner in the dining room. I told you it goes in the corner. And what the plans are for these is I have this hanging basket, which I got on Amazon. It's in my Amazon store. It's Joy, Joyous Garden Amazon Shop, also on our website. But I'm going to put this one in a six inch pot up here. And I'm going to put these two in an eight inch pot down here. And then I'm going to hang it above this plant here so it's going to be my little arrowhead corner there is a blog post to go along with this video as usual it'll have more details in it and links to a few of the things used here but these supports i think were you know 15 inches you know they also come taller but it's just one idea for getting your arrowhead plant to be a little less flippy floppy and more you know bushy more uh, compact the other thing is the tip pruning. I keep up on that. And here's how it looks in the dining room. The morning sun is shining through. It's still free form, but I like how it's not flopping against all the walls and hanging down all over. So I'm, uh, I, th I think it worked just fine and I will keep it pinched so it, it doesn't get too crazy and floppy again. And I'm gonna let the uh, couple stems in the front trail down. And that double basket with the uh, three arrowheads is gonna hang right above this. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful. These are great, really popular plants, really fast growing, so they, this does happen to them. So hopefully, hopefully this will just give you an idea of one more thing or two more things you can do to help keep it with a more compact form. And I have a lot more videos coming your way, so stay tuned for those. Also a lot in the archives, all about gardening, both indoors and out. I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Now let's get into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.